G'day. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up the free plus shipping rates in Shopify. This is part two. Uh, I did do a previous video. You can check that out. So this one's going to be quite quite involved. I need you to follow along so you can understand exactly what's required. And next video, I'll actually show you inside Shopify um, to the parts where I'm talking about. But I just want need to give you the concept of what you need to do uh, and just follow along. So here we go. So basically with Shopify, you've got three ways to control shipping. Okay, the first way is um, pricing, the second is uh, by weight, and the third is the real-time API. Now, simply with the pricing, it's calculated at the total checkout value, and you can put in different um, values. So for example, you might say, if anything's up to $30, it costs $7 shipping. If it's over $30, it might be free shipping, for example. With your weight, uh, you can attach uh, a weight to the product and depending on the weight, you can charge the appropriate um, shipping costs. So then you've got a real-time API and that one's not in the normal Shopify. That one uh, is for the higher level Shopify and you get access to the API or you can pay $20 a month add-on and get the API. And it's also used uh, to calculate the real-time shipping rates. So you can use that as well. So let's run through the, the free plus shipping method. Essentially is where you've got an item for free, so the price is set to zero, uh, but the customer pays for shipping and handling. Okay, so that's the whole idea behind free plus shipping method. And you would have heard people talk about it and you would have heard lots of gurus talk about it and show you all their screenshots of how much money they're making and their students are making. So that's what it's all about. Free plus shipping is generally used with places like AliExpress. Um, <coughs> a free item is to be considered uh, as an ex inexpensive to purchase and easy to post. So something small and, um, you know, something that is, it might be only worth a dollar to three dollars, for example, but you can um, sell it for easily, you know, 10 to 15 or even 20 dollars normally. But because it, it looks like it's expensive, people then pay nine ninety five dollars to, to get that product. So it has to have some value and they have to want it. Okay, and the shipping from AliExpress is often free uh, using China Post, which takes a long time, or for a few bucks you can use ePacket. Strongly recommend ePacket. So there's something that they don't talk about very much, <coughs> and that is free plus shipping offers require per item shipping feature. Now, this is not available with Shopify uh, without access to the shipping API and third-party apps. The best way to sh set up the shipping rates is using an app like advanced shipping rules. Uh, and you can check that out. That's probably the number one solution for doing uh, this sh um, free plus shipping with, with other standard items. That's what I'd recommend. So the advanced shipping rules app offers per item shipping, uh, which you'll need to do the free plus shipping offers and standard products correctly. The free plus shipping offers can be set up using price and weight, but they have limitations. So I'll go through that shortly. The best method to set up free plus shipping without using the shipping API and the third party apps is as follows. <coughs> so the first thing we wanna do is all free plus shipping items, you wanna to set to one kilo, or if in the States, you wanna to set to one pound. Whatever your currency is, you wanna set it to one. Okay, one whole number. And in our case, it's one kilo, and the US might be one pound, for example. And then what you do is all your normal items, you would then set them to 0 0.1 of a kilo or um, 0 0.1 of a pound. I can, I'll fix that up on the screen. And then you've got your limitations. Now there's lots of different ways of doing this, but I'll tell you what the limitations are first so you can understand that. So the first thing is your maximum checkout weight is five kilo. So the, the method I'm going to talk about, you can only send out up to five kilo and I'll explain how that works. This means that you can the maximum is five free plus shipping items can be purchased. So if you've got something, a free plus shipping item and they want one, they can buy that. Um, if they buy two, they can do that and go five. If they want to buy six, they won't be able to do it with this with this method. Also, it means if you've got um, a maximum of 50 standard items can be purchased without any free plus shipping items. Now, I've never had any problem. I've never had anyone, you know, go and buy more than five free plus shipping items, mainly only one. And also, I've never had anyone buy 50 standard items from a shop. So that I rarely would think is a problem, but that is a limitation. 
Um, the other thing is a combination of the free plus shipping and standard items. They can be purchased together, but um, once the the limit of five kilo is reached, then you can't buy any more products. Okay. So then um, also the other thing gets asked a lot is the um, if you add the free shipping for orders over X amount of dollars. So that's by using the price based rules. So any free plus shipping item will be free to the customer if you put that into um, your you're into your Shopify settings. So just remember that. So if your standard items ship free, then I suggest you don't use free shipping at all. Some people send all their items out free. Definitely do not do free plus shipping if you're going to do that because if your customer arrives and they see free plus shipping, but then they see a banner at the top and it says, hey, everything's for free shipping, but you're actually paying for shipping, they're not going to like that. So we'll go through the shipping rules uh, as follows below. <clears throat> so on the left, we've got the free plus shipping items and on the right, we've got standard items. So as you can see on the left, we have um, the weights. So for example, if they buy one, um, this item would be one kilo, be $9.95. And then right down to the five items at one kilo each totals five kilos and you pay 38.95 for example then with the standard items we use 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 okay and we've got the prices from 3.95 to 14.95 now you can change these prices if you want to but you need to understand what they do before you go change them so what will happen is if they come into your um, store and they do a free plus shipping item and they just get one, it'll be nine ninety five. Okay, so this will be here, so nine ninety five. If they just if they then decide to get some a related product, which is what you want them to do, you want them to get some second product. They might choose a, a full price product that you've got there down the bottom underneath the order. So they choose that as well. And let's say it might be a thirty dollar uh, piece of jewelry jewelry for example so when they get that because it's now at point one um now what will be the weight will be 1.1 and what happens is is there's there's actually um there's a gap between one and two and i'll show you that in the next chart and what that means is that at 1.1 kilo it will actually jump to two and it'll be charged at 17.95 so this allows you to um to deal with adding up to five items of normal normal like standard items and also the the five of the free plus shipping items you can have um separately so you can't have um if you if they buy five of the free plus shipping and then they want to try and buy the five of the standard that would be 5.5 kilos which they would not be able to check out so i'll show you the next screen so Jake Wilson did that video, you can check that link and in that video he described that table that we looked at there. I'm not sure if he created it but it's, uh, it definitely works. So th this is what the shipping table looks like in Shopify. So at the moment we've got in kilos but if you're in the US for example say pounds and so we have, I name everything standard shipping um, because I, there's a reason, a reason for that I'll get to in a second. But you can see how we got 0.1. 0.1 and then 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0 0.5 and then we jump to 1 kilo to 1 kilo, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what happens is um, you'll notice a couple of things. One is if they do normal standard pricing, these are the prices. So up to five items, that's what they get. Now if they order over five standard um, items, it will then become standard shipping at 9.95. So just be aware of that because um, each one of these um, is, let's say they order six, for example, and it's 0.5, add, add one more, which is 0.6. And what will happen is if this gets checked, goes through the checkout, because it's greater than 0.5, it will go to the one kilo mark and they'll be charged 9.95. Now, the idea is that <clears throat> of your standard products that you're making um, good money, so you should be able to cover that 9.95. If not, you adjust your prices accordingly. So this is how it works. And you'll notice that from 0.6 to 0.9 is missing, which I explained before, and also from between 1.1 to 1.9, 2.1 .1, 2.9, 3.1, 3.9, 4.1 to 4.9. Because when Shopify um, finds that there's a gap, it will then go to the higher weight range. Okay, so if you have one free plus shipping item is purchased, and then they purchase another one, the weight would be 1.1 kilo. This would cause Shopify to select the two kilo rate, which is 17.95. As you can see, that's a two kilo rate there. 
<clears throat> the maximum weight is five kilo and no customers can check out with more than five free plus shipping items. Also, what's important is you edit the save packages and change the weight to zero. It's on the same screen in the shop profile. I'll get that in the next uh, video. I'll show you that. But if you don't do this, the shipping method won't correctly. This is what it looks like on the screenshot. This will have a weight in there and all you need to do is change that to zero. If you don't, it will cause a problem. The other thing you need to look out for is if you're doing print on demand with your free plus shipping um, and you've got them integrated in the same store. So <coughs> if you're using the print on demand suppliers, you'll need to have the delivery shipping cost in the price of the product because most um, print, print on demand suppliers, they charge shipping per item and um, you cannot charge per item. So do not sell international unless you've installed an app like advanced shipping rules and your store and your uh, POD supplier should be in the same country. For example, if you're in the States and you open a Shopify store there with US dollars located in the US, your supplier must be, for the pod, must be in the States. And the reason is your currency needs to be the same um, so you can calculate the correct selling prices um, for your store. And also you need the same currency uh, to do with the app and you do not want to be doing that um, with international shipping and different currency. So for example, if you're a different country like Australia, <coughs> don't set up a Shopify store in your local currency and try to set up integration with the USA pod suppliers. Uh, pod suppliers. Uh, your store currency needs to be the same as your pod suppliers. You'll experience problems, currency conversion, accounting loss sales, uh, checkout currency will be different to the customer's currency. Okay. So also advanced shipping rules, that um, app integrates with Printful and allows to set up the shipping rates per item, which is pretty important. So with a conclusion, there's a few methods described on how to do free plus shipping. If you probably already Googled them, you probably already went through all of YouTube and there's about eight good videos that I've found, but about seven of them are not right. They've got some of them work, but not all that great. There's always a problem with one of them and there's always a limitation, just like there's a limitation on this one. So you gotta remember some of the other ones involve uh, order limits, uh, like the order limit app and they use it so you can only check out so many items so they can only get so many free plus shipping items and also they recommend the better shipping app but a lot of people have had problems with reliability on both those programs um, okay so this method had limitations however it does work don't overcomplicate things if you have a special scenario and this method doesn't work for you I strongly suggest you use the advanced shipping rules app if there's something better please comment below because um, I don't know about it um, but you can adjust your prices and go ahead and change those to suit um, if you don't like the ones that are on the on the the rates that I've done before and I hope you'll learn something from this uh, with how I set up my free plus shipping rates. If you've got any questions or comments below, drop them down uh, below and I'll help you out. And I'm not affiliated in any way with advanced shipping rules. It's just a great app. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.